Well, I got this uh, slider lube here that I'm going to use on my truck on the fifth wheel. Uh, she's got a pop-off cap. Uh, may have to cut it up here. Not really sure yet. But, yeah, I might have to cut it. Um, basically, I'm going to take a knife cut that. I'm going to put some on my fifth wheel. And uh, I like Lucas products. I use all kinds of products though. Now I've used, um, I was going to try some stuff that's called the stuff that won't fly off. It's used for motorcycles. Um, it's used for motorcycle chains and they, they changed the name of it now to something else. I want to say it's like something like a PL or J, what, I'll look it up. I'll put a list, I'll put it in the description. But the thing is, uh, that was some good stuff. And it like emulsified kind of, I don't know what you call the word, it kind of bubbled a little bit whenever you sprayed it out, but it would not fly off of the chain. Now, uh, $7.99, you know, I got this, uh, when I got the oil change, I went ahead and got that um, that fuel additive. That's the, that's the smart way to do it if you have a maintenance account that's uh, required uh, that you really can't touch unless you're doing maintenance, or they don't want you to anyways. Um, I'll get into that one day, but anyhow, uh, basically, um, if you get all this stuff, like, if you buy, okay, this is going to last, like, forever, but if you, if you buy, I used to get the little red pack, or I've tried the red packs, I usually use a grease gun, I, I'm just old school, I use a grease gun and just go, some people make an X on the fifth wheel, I'll go, you know, lines, that are you know a little bit further apart you know than than an inch and a half so about two inches apart anyway and then i get a little bit for where the lock and jaw comes in to play where it locks around the uh kingpin so um the trailer kingpin so you know if you buy this if you do have maintenance count if you, if you buy this and you buy your fuel additives that includes anti-gel and anything else i don't care how many you use throw five gallons of it up on the counter whatever you use of whatever get it out of your maintenance account you know if you're set up like that with a company as i was telling the guy the other day and then you're going to get the fuel savings out of the additives you're not going to, have to come out of pocket for washer fluid for this stuff here for you know additives and then um that's truly maintenance so when you're doing an oil change um put whatever you're going to use until the next oil change if it's five gallons of washer fluid, put five gallons of washer fluid up there. Whatever it is that you're going to use and carry it home, you know, drop it by there, uh, do what you got to do, throw it in your bunk. So you, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. That is a way to knock down some of your cost, and it is true maintenance. And then you might wind up with like a, you know, $500, $700 uh, oil change ticket, but. Uh, they can't argue it. It's stuff you needed. So I'm talking wiper blades, fifth wheel lube if you're going to use it, uh, fuel additives for summer, fuel additives for winter, anti gel, you know, um, wiper blades, uh, any kind of, uh, if you, I don't use the Rainex liquid stuff, that washer fluid. I would not buy it. I, I would try to buy a regular washer fluid. If they don't, ha if they've got Rainex, I'd be honest with you, it's a good product, but it's no good whenever they mix it with your washer fluid, because it doesn't clean anything. It goes on top of it and it makes streaks and it makes it where you can't even see. I'm just being honest, and it takes a while to wash that stuff out of your box, out of your flu fluid uh, fill box. So, anyways, buy as much as you have to, whatever you need. Put it up on the counter when you get oil change. In other words, you go oil, get oil change, you're going to refit. Um, get it all. Um, if you, uh, you know, I mean, they got flashlights there too. Whatever it is that you feel like you need. So, that said, I, I you know, got this along with Alright, it's kind of dark out here. I got my back porch lights on. Uh come in here between these tires maybe be able to show this fifth wheel here yeah that's good enough so you know you got to do this it, it helps on vibration uh, it helps to slide under the trailer 
helps when you're turning keeps your fifth wheel from having any kind of rust issues so you know um, just doing what I do here okay so I'm gonna show this as best as I can because I'm pretty well holding the camera and doing this at the same time and I went for a small cut I'm not going all the way to the edge I'm going where I believe it will stay on the fifth wheel as I come up under it there's no exact pattern to that that's right or anything I'm just showing you yes you got to get out and do this people that's all um, like I said some people make just a big X and this stuff is about like honey and I made a small hole in it so I mean it's, it's five in the morning <laughs> I'm an early bird so look if you a little bit in there too now you know where the where the hook goes there if you um you got a nice warm part of the day is the best time to do it this was warm because it was inside the truck but you have to do it that's the point I wanted to make the smallest hole I could in this bottle so that it wouldn't if I spill it because it seems like everything that you ever open or buy in a truck and want to put it in a side box it's going to wind up you're going to spill it if you don't use it just that's just truth about it if you've got anti gel and you don't use it you could you could wind up spilling it <laughs> so I cut the smallest hole I could in this thing and uh to my own detriment because now a little hard to get out but you get the idea look I've just made some lines back and forth um, a little across the strike part of the plate and uh, I'll get the other side from the other side I'll go over there get a little bit more on it on there but look the whole point of me doing this video is not for you to have to watch me grease a fifth wheel it's just to tell you that you can and you should take care of your stuff don't be too sorry to get a grease gun that's what I've always said or too lazy I should say a long reach yeah I'm gonna get to the other side anyway so there it is like I said you can make a hex on your fifth wheel and you don't have to use this stuff um, you know this is by uh, Lucas uh, I tell you what though a trick is this ought to be decent for a video at least to have the shot there all right so that's what it looks like when it's done um, Hope this video was helpful. Hey, get out and grease fifth wheel. Okay, so. That's funny. That guy that went by was kind of looking at me like, what are you doing? Is it broke down? <laughs> Most people have the shops do this, you know. A lot of people don't even know how. It's crazy. Um, I use, I, I prefer to use a uh, grease gun. Um this stuff like I said I'm gonna see if this I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if this works but as far as between the package tack stuff or whatever and using a grease gun I prefer to use a grease gun because I don't like the idea of that paper being somewhere that plastic or whatever being somewhere if it don't disintegrate or whatever just like falls somewhere I don't like that so a little down there
like I said, I don't go all the way to the edge with it. It's a little time consuming because I did cut a small hole in the tip trying to make sure it wouldn't leak in my side box. So basically that's what I got there. Um, and this stuff is like honey or molasses coming off there. But Lucas, you know, here's the trick too. Okay, when you're getting your oil change, figure out how many miles it's going to be before you do your next oil change, whether it's anywhere between 18,000 if you're using 13,000 whatever, or 18,000 if you're using dinosaur oil, if you're using the synthetic and going up to try and go to 30. I don't recommend that, but okay. If your company says you're going to be back in 30,000 miles, question is how many bottles of this, how many bottles of windshield washer fluid, and how many bottles of uh, fuel treatment are you going to use in the meantime? Put all that stuff up on the counter and have them pay for it out of your required maintenance account. And then you'll get the fuel savings of the fuel treatment without having to pay for it. And figure out how many you're going to need and just stack them up. And that's a way to bring more money uh, you know, into your pocket instead of buying all these additives and stuff and uh, washer fluid I don't recommend I'm not I'm not gonna recommend the Rain-X washer fluid I like the product that goes on the glass but the washer fluid is just too much it doesn't clean and then it puts that on top of what's dirty on the glass so I ain't you know not talking bad about them but you need new wiper blades think about all what you need that you can get at the oil change place whether it's TA or Speedco and then um, write it all down and when you get an oil change bring that list in there with you and know how many you're gonna need take all that out of your maintenance account that's the trick and then uh, you don't have to pay for it along the way and uh, you put more money in your bank account all right so I hope you like this video and hope that information was helpful and uh, I mean there you go nothing to it grease fifth wheel um, you know just trying to teach what I know before I go and don't forget to click like it buttons down there and share and subscribe all right thanks all right, so one more thing. You can see that my fifth wheel is actually a good bit higher than this trailer, okay? So I'm gonna drop my air suspension so it doesn't scrape all the grease that I just did off of the front and wind up it. If you got grease dripping off the front, that's, that's why, on your first hook at least. You wanna drop it down, get halfway to the fifth wheel, get out and look, lift it up, as long as it ain't, you know, under the long as it's centered here before you get the fifth wheel, and then uh, then it'll pick up the trailer and you can ride it back and you won't lose much grease at all actually it just barely spread it it won't scrape everything off the front uh, like it would if I was to hook under this one you see so it'll work like a blade on the front but once you're under there it won't it won't do that so so basically you just drop your airbags and then back most of the way up you know about halfway to the fifth wheel and then lift it back up and it'll it'll like I said it'll lift up to the trailer then you back up into uh, you know lock in position and then uh, this will uh, help you save your grease doing that alright just a little trick alright that's it I'm out peace see how I'm under the trailer and I'm not quite to the kingpin yet and then I'm gonna lift it up but I'm already past the front of the trailer so that saves your work and whenever you hit that lift up it'll go up to it flush as soon as you start to feel it go ahead and back up under and you're good